Hello friends today we are going to read Back in the Shed by Catherine Hapka Let's start Annie couldn't wait for school to end today she was going to go home with her friend Jill Jill lived on a pony farm their friend Meg came too the three girls called themselves the pony scouts ready to ride Jill asked when they got to the barn Just a second Annie said she hung up a drawing of a cute foal on the pony scout's bulletin board it's a picture of surprise she is 1 month old today Annie said you should know Annie Meg said with a laugh you are the one who found surprise surprise got her name because nobody knew that her mother Rosie was going to have a fall where or surprise and rosy now annie asked mom put them out into the in the field we can visit them after one hour lesson and sing happy birthday jill song till said today annie was riding a gentle pony named splash she got him ready and let him out the riding ring surprise and rosy were grazing in the next field i can't wait till surprise is old enough to ride annie told her friends soon the lesson started jill's mom asked her the girls to let go of their reins the show them how to move their own like windmills this will help your balance said jill's mom it's fun meg cried annie was having fun too but being a windmill on horseback was harder than it looked once she almost lost lost her balance but then she got herself too after a while jill's mom had them try to windmills at a trot that was even harder just then and is notice surprise bucking and playing in the field she turned to watch the foal and fell himself slip in the slide slip in the side this time annie couldn't keep her balance she fell off and landed on her rear ouch she cried splash stopped and looked at her annie Jill and Meg cried. Jill's mom rushed over. "Are you okay?" she asked. Annie wanted to cry. She wasn't hurt, but feeling off was scary. "I think I'm okay," she said. "Do you want to get back on?" Jill's mom asked. Annie wasn't sure. "Maybe I should wait until next time," she whispered. Jill looked worried. Are you sure? She asked. If you wait, you might be even more scared next time. Annie thought about what Jill said. Could she be right? Annie didn't want to be too scared to ride. Then Annie heard a nicker. She looked over and saw surprise standing at the fence. She walked over, over and rubbed the fold. on her soft little nose she thought about finding her as a tiny baby and i also thought about how much fun it would be to ride surprise some day thinking about that made her feel a little braver i think i will get back on after all she told jill's mom hooray make and jill cheer Annie still felt scared when she got back on her hand shook as she picked up the reins but splash did just as she was asked soon annie was trotting around surprise was trotting along on the other side of the fence annie smiled at the foal we did it she beamed the end 
i hope you love this books friends see you next time with a different book bye bye